Hello everybody, my name is Jason and I like to review electronics on Amazon along with other places such as YouTube. Anyway, I have acquired eight different docking stations for the Steam Deck. And today I'm going to review all eight of them. <clears throat> so first quick little test is I have plugged each one into my Steam Deck. I have tried charging my Steam Deck with each one. I have plugged each one into a television using HDMI to see how they work. Um, all of them passed that test and all of them did charge the Steam Deck correctly. I also have plugged each one of them into my laptop and plugged a uh, external hard drive into the Steam Deck from the laptop and was able to view the hard drive. All eight of them passed all of those tests. So for basic functionality, they all win. So let's go through. Uh, another little side note real quick. If you're gonna be selling something on Amazon, pick a brand name that people can actually pronounce. Some of these brand names, you know, I can pronounce them and they kind of make a little bit of sense, or not really any sense, at least they're just two random words. But some of them have letter combinations that are unpronounceable. That's just a side note. So let's get started. This one here came in a really cheap box um, that was basically falling apart. There's actually no labeling on it, and the box came quite dirty from the factory. This brand is Unic. I don't know what Unic means, in Chinese, but it definitely means something in there in American or in English. And um, yeah, not something you want to have your brand recognized for. Not very good. So first off, this one here, obviously they have a cutout here where maybe they could add some fans, but they didn't want to sell this version of fans and they didn't bother, you know, putting anything else there. So just a little square. This one has the least amount of rubber of anything we're going to see today. Little itty bitty thing, smaller than my fingernail, and there's only two of them. It has this high point right here, so if you stick it in your bag or anything, that's going to stick up and stab your screen or stab something, making it much harder to put in your bag. Um, it is cheap plastic. It I don't know if you can see. Well, probably not. It's flexing pretty poorly. It does have the LAN port. Um, it has USB-C and I will tell you when you plug something in there it makes a really cheap sound. Let me hear, let's see if you can hear it here. So this one does have a little blue light on the back. Um, honestly that's something that you don't expect on all of them. In fact this is the only one that has a little light on the back. Um, one other has a bigger light on the back, but this, and then all the rest have no light on the back, though a few have lights in the front. The rest of the cons, oh, it's tall. The cable connection right here looks really cheap. I don't know how many times you're going to be able to put that in your laptop bag and have it bend or, you know, whatever container you're holding this in. I mean, it already looks like it's being bent. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine how long that's going to last. <clears throat> It has the least amount of rubber, only four little dots of rubber on the bottom. And the retail box sucks. If you're gonna be giving this as a Christmas present, birthday present, or if you're a reseller and you wanna put this on your shelf, um, not something you'd wanna be proud of. The packaging, not very good. Next level up. This one, you have to plug it in to see this one. So this one does also have really cheap box, but they actually at least put some labeling on the box. I mean, they printed some stuff. Still really, really cheap, flimsy box. And the box came torn. This box was actually open just like this when I received it from Amazon. Um, don't know if it opened during the shipping or something like that. This is the only one we're gonna be reviewing today that does not have ethernet. They have a square where they could have easily put the ethernet, but they chose not to. It also has a button. This button in the um, documentation shows that it lights up green, but in reality, it does not light up at all. And the button does absolutely nothing. There's no label in the documentation for what it does. 
It's just there for to make a cool little clicking noise, and that's about it. Now, the feature of this that does make it in second place instead of last place is it does have pretty cool RGB lighting in the front. The negative to it, there's absolutely no way to shut the RGB lighting off. I was assumed that's what the button is for, but no, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't connect at all. So, I don't know. I put the RGB, I didn't put it as a pro. I didn't put it as a con. I put it in the middle. Um, nice, but distracting. Now, when I say white here, I misspelled. Um, I meant this was the lightest weight. It's it's very light compared to some of the other ones we're going to do later on. Probably only half the weight. The first one is actually lighter than this, too. I put that um, on its list. So, definitely a very cheap plastic feel. Not as cheap as the first one. Poor packaging again. No LAN. And... For, it even though it has USB 3.0, I did test it, um, they forgot to use the blue plastic, which is kind of a pet peeve of mine. If it's going to be USB 3.0, you should really use the blue plastic. So next, oh, and this is made by a company called Star Grabber. Hey, I can pronounce the name of their company. That's a, definitely a plus. It doesn't mean much. This one I can pronounce too. Hot Day. Another nonsensical word. First one with an actual decent box. Um, the bo this box is one of those ones that you slide open. Um, and the inside is pretty nice. It has a nice little sleeve. I mean, they definitely spent probably a good 30 cents on this box. Um, it has a little bit more writing. It's actually, you know, in English. This is the first one we're going to review today that's made out of metal. Definitely not, not that cheap plasticky feel. The rubber, stand, rubber area, there's three of them. One, two, and three. Um, if you put the Steam Deck, it, the, the plug over here is this big, bulky, kind of ugly thing. Um, it does have a braided cable. First one today with a braided cable. And it has a little bit better wired connection. It does stick out the side. So you have to be careful of that when you're, you know, sticking it on something on the side. I think for me, honestly, coming out the side is probably better than coming out the back. Let's put the Steam Deck on there really quick. And you can see that it does, it does fit pretty snugly. It does its job. Um, I have, you know, they all charge, as I said before. I'm not a big fan of this little gap right here. I don't really know why they did that. And that's its side profile. The LAN port is on the side. So the wire's on the side, the LAN's on the side, not much rubber. On the bottom, there are two little strips of rubber. The next one. Okay, how do we say it? Haunyolin? Yo, yo, how, yo, no, there's no E at the end. Haunyolo, halon. Okay, yeah, no, let's not even worry about that. So this one is made out of metal. It's a little bit lighter colored metal than the last one, um, anodized a little bit lighter. It's very similar to the other one. Let me unplug the USB-C. So the rubber in the back is significantly larger. The rubbers on these two are about the same size, and they do actually go up to the top right here. Um, this one, they basically went backwards from the last one. They put the USB-C input here, and they put their permanent wire on the back. And then they put their Ethernet on the other side. So, interesting. Uh, this one does have another really horrible box. I mean, literally, this is one of those five cent boxes you can buy in bulk, and all they did is stick a sticker on it. Um, this box is absolutely nothing with their brand name on it. Uh, very, very cheap. Uh, this box was not taped up or sealed in any manner. Um, it was also halfway open when I received it. A little dent on it there. Yeah, not too thrilled with this packaging. And, you know, I'm surprised if it opens up inside the Amazon warehouse, then, you know, where are they going to know where this came, what this even goes to? It behooves of them that at least tape it or shut or something. Let's go through. Um, cable connection. There are absolutely no lights that light up on this at all. I mean, there's a little lightning thing there, but it doesn't light up. Um, no lights at all. You have no idea if it's on or off. 
Um, I did also find that this was a little bit too wide for the Steam Deck. It looks like, I mean, and I will be honest with you, a lot of these um, have the exact same product for the Nintendo Switch. And a lot of these have just been adapted from a very, very similar Switch design. The Nintendo Switch is a tad bit thicker, I believe. Um, anyway, whatever. These do not fit exactly like they should. Um, the RGB one fit pretty well, but none of the other ones so far have fit pretty well. On the bottom, just a little bit of rubber. It is enough to give you a pretty good amount of friction. So it, it, I mean, I'm pushing pretty hard here, and it's hard to be moving. So eh, it's, it sticks to the table, at least. Non-retail box. Um, I wouldn't want to give that as a present or anybody to any anything like that. Um, this one, so these, the last two plus this one almost look exactly the same. Um, this one here, they decided to put both the output and the USB-C on the back. They still stuck the Ethernet on the side, you know, versus the last one that we just looked at. You know, you can see where the USB-C is on the side instead. They basically put the rubber in the exact same way. It's almost the exact same product when you put it right on top of each other. Same shape, same size. Um, this one here does have a little bit more of a curve in. And there's like an itty bitty little lip here, which... I kind of felt like this metal was touching my screen. Did not like that. It still has the same loose feel as the other one. And it also has absolutely no lights whatsoever to let you know that anything is plugged in. Um, so that's that one there. Oh, the brand name of this one was Joy Jam, just in case you needed to know that. The next one is Nivioli. Nivoli. Nivi. Okay. You don't need to put an E there or an O. Oh, jeez. I wish they could, you know, they need to read these out loud 20 or 30 times. So this one. Guess what? It's exactly the same as the other RGB one. But why do I have it ranked up a little bit higher? Well, two main things. The box. They used an actual decently thick cardboard. It's the exact same printing that's on the other one. The only difference, I mean, look at them. The only difference is this one says ST661 and this one says XT660. But the documentation on the inside, this one actually says ST662 on the documentation. Both the documentations are, you know, pretty much very basic. They do show that green light turned on and neither of them have the green light. They this has the exact same RGB as the other one. The only the only other reason I also made this one a little bit higher is this one actually has the ethernet port. And so if you're looking for a nice, you know, lightweight one and you like the RGB and you want to be a gamer type, this one's way better than the other one. You got the ethernet port which is a little bit better and the packaging was definitely better so it came a lot nicer so let's see well, that's the labeling for that one so this one does have more of a Chinese labeling the other one just said you know the other one comparatively says steam TV pedestal well this one says steam blah. but looking up I did look that up what that looks like in the translator and that also comes up as uh, TV dock um, I don't know how good that Chinese is so let's go over here the next one is the least and most difficult pronounceable name Siwaku Siwaki Siwiku Siwiku I don't know so this one, we're getting to the better ones. These are the, the last two are by far the best two. And if I didn't need RGB, which I don't gonna hear about RGB much at all, um, these, I would only be considering these last two. And there's a little bit of benefits to the Saiwaka or whatever. And there's, but there's a couple of benefits to the last one, which I'll show you here in a second. So by far, this one had the best box. It is a really well printed box really sturdy high quality box 
It's the only box that actually put the official Steam logo on it. It's the first of the last two are the only two that have full rubber grip. An entire piece of rubber over the entire thing. This one has two fairly large rubber rectangles on the bottom, which give you a pretty, actually a very astoundingly, I mean, I'm putting a lot of force just to slide this across. So it definitely is sticky to the thing. The Nomi made, now it also, nice and thin. It does have a very similar look to the other ones, but this one is definitely a lot more metal. And even the end caps feel like they're made out of either metal or some decently thick plastic. There's nothing on the ends. Everything is on the back. So this one also has a nice light in the back. Let me, let me go ahead and plug it in. Give me a second. I'll grab the wire. It's not the easiest thing to do with one hand. <clears throat> All right. Let me plug this in for y'all. So that's what the light looks like. It kind of comes out of the USB port. Um, ignore that light that's on the cable. This one also is the only one that when it's plugged in actually has a green light on the Ethernet port. None of the others have a green light or any light on the Ethernet port. So the, the only the only major negative to this one, which if they fixed it, would this would make this would be the number one. The only major negative is they did go with this weird hardwired out, um, output wire and this wire is not does not look very good so that is the only negative of this particular one they fixed that they got the best one now for my current best one we're going to go to another company let's see what's it called worky okay the e at the end War, Warky. Okay. They need a better name. This one here. Let's go through it real quick. Full rubber grip. In addition, this rubber has a nice little diamond texture. They have their name and logo right here. It is one of the only ones, other than the RGB, it is the only one with a small little white light right here. Um, I do not, if I remember right, I, this one does not turn on unless Yes, that's right. It does not turn on unless it actually has a connection to the Steam Deck itself. So it's a connection indicator for the Steam Deck. So there you go. Little light right there. It, this one is, oh, I'm, I, it doesn't normally flash. I put in the, um, I have the wrong charger. I'm using it on the laptop charger right now. I have my Steam Deck charger here. It's one of these wires, but whatever. Um, in addition to that, it is the only of one of two that has the, what do they call it? Ah, doing too much. But anyway, the good quality cable here. This one also, you know, with the full rubber. This also is the only one that has decent labeling on the back. Looks professional. They actually had it screen printed onto the plastic, you know, why does everybody else not have that? I don't know. But there's only one negative to this particular one. Is it does have this little ridge that sticks up. Now that does give your Steam Deck a little bit more support. If your Steam Deck's going to be on the counter, that is not a negative whatsoever. The only time, it's actually a very good positive. The only negative that this would be is if you're going to be mobile and you're going to put this in like a backpack or something this little thing sticking out could you know cause damage to something but the number one positive of this is look at that it has a rubber all the way around the edges makes it very very hard to slide like almost impossible to slide it's not really i'm putting in a lot of force there and the the table itself is moving against the floor more than that's moving against the table. That's how strong that is. But the best part is, look at that cable, how secure that is all the way in there. And it's the only one where you can actually fold the cable around and house it within the device. So 
when you go to put this away and you put the you put the cable around like that and you're gonna put this well, it's a little hard to do one handed there it is oh almost had it okay well hmm. <laughs> it's it's not that hard to do if you have more fingers to use all right, so that's what it looks like. You put it in there. You put the cable around. It is the only one that has a nice mounting place for the cable. It has all these nice little ridges. It has a nice little rubber grip thing here. So if you hold it, you have something better to hold on to. It has nice metal body everywhere. It has... A white on the front. Just a little white light. Not something too distracting. You know, so you have it front indicator. Whoever designed this one, designed the best one. This is the winner. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a version without the little tall part thing right there. For me, I usually want to be mobile on this. So that right there would make it perfect. But other than that, you know, this Warkey model, Warkey, is definitely... The best of the eight that we're reviewing today. Now, I do know there's a lot more of them on Amazon. Um, I tried to get a pretty good sampling. I do not believe, after looking at all the ones... That, I mean, I looked at probably 50 more on Amazon. I did not see one that was better than this Worky model right here. Oh, God. I just wish they had a good pronounceable name. But anyway, Worky. However you want to say it. Even has their name right there. It is the only one also that actually prints their name on their product and has an actual logo. All the rest don't. They're just plain generic stuff. Um, it is... Of all the metal ones, though, the other... All the metal ones have in the back right here. This piece is also made out of metal. This is the only one that's made out of plastic. And my guess is because they had to run that through a silk screen thing. I do not mind that that is made out of plastic. In fact, that might make it a little bit easier to take it apart if I ever need to take it apart. Anyway, so final conclusion, buy this one. Don't buy the others. Um, if you don't, if you're gonna be a little bit more mobile, maybe you buy the one from CWQ. Yeah, please. If you're gonna make a good product, think of a good name. That sounds good. Just hire somebody who speaks English as a native language and ask them, does this name make sense? Because then I can refer your product a lot easier. Anyway, everything about this, the cable storage is by far the coolest. I'm not going to ever break this cable. This is going to be, you know, all the other ones. You could easily break the cable. That right there, that cable storage right there, especially having the cable mounted almost a half inch into the device, so you're not going to be ripping that off. That right there is cool. All right. Thanks for watching. You can also look at my profile to see some of my other reviews for other products. Thanks.